Hi, uh, yeah. Welcome back to War 5 against Nefty. It didn't actually show it at the start there. I probably just started recording too early. Um, we got absolutely tonked today by the current world number one alliance, but I had a good war. Uh, we are cooking today with Bishop and Cassie, and we've got Mangog in for Bishop Synergy. Uh, as you can read, you don't need me to dictate to you. Um... I am far too old to be down with the kids and using the word cook regularly, as they do currently, but we really did do some frying today. Um, although, to disappoint early on, as I always aim to, there wasn't quite as much cheese as there was in my first, in my last war with Bishop, but there we go. We're going path 8 all the way, uh, with some really big, chunky chunky champs and then we're going Killmonger on part on node 41 and Zemo on node 49 to try and repeat Bishop's ridiculousness. Starting up with Wong here, this is a standard Cassie fight, I couldn't give a damn about him getting furies when I'm close to him or cruelties when I knock him down or anything like that. Cassie is going to do Cassie things. Um, I took my first two fights in this war much earlier than the other two, so I didn't fully, I did boost boost for this, but I used just a 20% green and a smaller attack boost and a health boost. I used, saved the real big boy ones for my final four fights, which I did closer to the end of the war. But we'll get to them when we, when we get to them. For now, we can just watch Cassie do her things. I've taken Wong many times on many different nodes with her. It's actually nice to see him here rather than on node 36, because I'm bored of that one. Um, within a few seconds, he's already below halfway, killing himself with power stings. Uh, everything's working out nicely, and we can just uh, see him on his way and move on for the next fight. Which is against a nice, cute, squishy hit monkey. I don't think I've ever fought hit monkey in war before, so uh, this was cool. He obviously has a chance to shrug things off when I knock him down. I've got no intention of knocking him down until I use my special two to kill him. Uh, and even if I did, with enough prowess on me as per the tactic, his purifiability uh, and therefore shrugging things off is at zero anyway. Um, this is a really, really easy fight. I completely wasted an invulnerability boost, but I like to be careful. Um, Game plan is just parry, short combos, get my prowess up to all the way, build to special two. Um, Monkey's going to throw his special one and I can just parry it. Um, Mangog's giving me extra prowess, potency and regen, which is really nice to keep me topped up. And this special two with 116k crit on the final hit of that, just to top things off, absolutely melts him. Uh, coming up now, we've got a big giant rank 3 Sasquatch with over 500k health. Um, 511k to be precise, which I was a little bit nervous about, just because he's huge, and because he's so huge, he's going to hit me hard if I screw up, and I like to screw up. But Cassie is an absolute tank. We're just going to play things slow, be careful with her, to keep power stings up to as high as I can whilst keeping an eye on my fuel. I'm going to dex his special one occasionally to give me to trigger a buff that I'm immune to, which gives me pim charges and I can place poisons on him. Um, I'm not going to rush to get my power stings off first, I want to get that taunt up. And already he's going to be at special two, which is fine. I've got plenty of fuel to deal with that and duck it out. And now we can just start our rotation. Yes, I got punched in the face at the start. It's always rude not to. But from then on, this fight goes really perfectly. And he really cooks down very quickly. I do just have to be careful with the wrath. I got a bit lucky there because of the unstoppable one landing the last hit of the heavy. But I'm more than happy to ride, ride my luck here and there. Uh, yeah, this uh, he's down below halfway already, much quicker than I anticipated. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this is going. Plus with Max and Equity, all those stings on, if he does catch me at this stage, it's really not going to hurt me very much. So we are, as the kids say, cooking.
and he is done. Really nice fight, very, very pleased with that. Uh, now we come up to Crossbones on node 35. Um, if I parry him plenty at the start, even though he won't shrug it off, he'll shrug it and go passive stunned, um, but that will give him Furies, which I don't want him to get, um, because they'll give him power, because of Rich Get Richer. So it's more important than normal to start off with backing off with a Dex, which will give me power, and then I can hit his block a few times to kill off his Purify ability, and then it's safe for me to parry him without him getting Furies. Meanwhile, I'm still gaining power. I don't want to push to three bars, so it's time to fire the special. Two, with, I don't have many prowesses on me at much, so it doesn't do too much damage, but the next one's gonna nuke. Get punched in the face just to keep my prowess a bit higher than normal, and this one's gonna destroy him. And we finish the fight at three bars, thanks to power backs, and we can move on to the big, scary rank three Killmonger on node 41. Uh, I'm not too worried about this fight. I tend to avoid the Killmongers up till now. Um, I don't normally have the highest ranked champs to counter him. This one's got 450k health. He's a big rank 3. He's only sig 20 so his reverb isn't going to hurt me too much. Plus special 2 being not physical. That's not going to cost me with reverb anyway. Um, but I, it's still a fight I need to be careful with. Um, I forgot that I'm going to start with three bars of power, so that caught me off guard a little bit. Uh, and then I take a full combo to the face and a special one, which puts a big bleed on me, and then I'm rooted. So I get out of the root nice and quickly with a special three, um, which does a decent chunk of damage. Uh, not decent enough, but that's okay. Now I can just stay out of the way for the rest of him. Annoyingly, when Killmonger throws his special 2 and gets his indestructible charges, that does use up my prowess, which is very good for him as a defender. Annoying for me, but it's something I can just deal with quite easily. I just need to watch Bubble Shield now. Uh, luckily, dexing that last part of his special 1, which would have been the 10th blocked hit, uh, meant that I avoid any unstoppable attacks. I now want to make sure I finish the fight with just one bar, so I'm slowing it right down and letting the incinerate kill him off without me doing any further hits. So lost approximately half my health, which is fine. A couple of potions to top me up, and we come to Zemo, um, which disappointed me. Um, I had my previous very cheesy 10-hit bullseye fight in mind, um, not really appreciating that this Zemo is... Rank 5 Ascended versus the Rank 2, and therefore chunkier and tankier, and he's not going to go down so easily. Again, I've got my Foresight 1 bar, which makes me stun immune, so I can ignore stun reflection, and then the Power Start 1 boost on top, which kicks in after, gives me 2 bars of power, ready for a big special 2 when I've got my 41 Enhanced Prowesses. Annoyingly, it doesn't kill him, and he shrugs off the Incinerate, which would have possibly killed him off or at least got him down very low um, I know that I'm not going to get another special after I fire the special one because again he'll shrug off the incinerate and also root me once he cleanses four of them so I'm not worrying about the brute force degen I'm just biding my time from opening he's been very stingy fire my special one when I think he's low enough and that cleans him off not as cheesy as the bullseye fight, but still the plan worked perfectly, which is really satisfying, and I'm very, very happy with how that went. Now, I did record this snippet of the score at this point, and about 10 minutes later, we inflated our deaths, and as I said at the start, we got absolutely destroyed today. So well played to Nefty, who will stay top. We're going into our next war, I think two for three or something, I can't remember. Thank you for watching. Bye.